Let's look on other option to help us blending. And mostly it's happen if we have a light or a source behind the model, we want to blend them together. Example, right here, let's look on this image and analyzing. You notice right here, we have a light source behind, we have some this kind of glowing going around a booking effect right in this area. And if we look on this model by the hair, you'll notice right here, it's kind of sharp. So what do we want to do? We want to simulate this almost light um, spilling going from So we can do this by creating mask and overlay it. So let's do this. First, we have a model and we're going to click um, control or command on the model. So we mask out. We'll go create a new layer and we want to fill up this layer with the same color as we have the light source. So for example, if you have a little bit yellowish here, it's look like a little bit almost uh, violet kind of color, bluish maybe. So we go to select the color. Okay, we can go select maybe it's somewhere around this area and you can it's more violet. Okay, and we can um, go ahead and fill up with this color, the inside model. So it's almost white. So in this case, we have it um, area around. Next, let's contract this um, mask. And as it's still selected, we go to select, modify, and we go to contract. Base it on a size of your image. You maybe want to have it more or less. With this, let's go use it five. We'll say, and we have it a nice small border going around here. So we can go and press delete to remove it. At this point, you should have this kind of like border going around your model. Next, what I want to do with this, and again, remember, it's just outside. Let's one more time um, click control on our model. So again, we cut off inside, but we're masking model overall. I don't want this light spill outside. I want this go a little bit inside. However, we will do something glowing out. But for this, I want inside. By selecting model, I constrain our selections inside. And if I go to select filter, blur, we'll use the Gaussian blur. Let's do a little bit less than this. You'll notice it will blur only inwards because we lock by our selection. Let's maybe even add. And you can play around, see which one is work a little bit better for you. I think this will work just fine, about 6%. We'll click OK. We can go deselect and switch our mode to the soft light. So we can preview right here. We add this extra little bit of glowing that's going around. You can always, if you want, switch to the screen. If you want, apply a little bit more stronger effect. And we can also modify just slightly down. Because you'll notice the glowing apply in this area. We don't want to apply everywhere. And if we look, we definitely don't want to go down below here. To control of this, we'll create a mask layer. Okay, let's go select our brush. We'll reset to the black. Okay, we'll go select soft edge. And let's go 50, maybe even more, 70. And all what we need to do, just go and mask out in areas where I don't want it. You can also use it instead brush. You can use it lasso tool, for example. Just go around areas where you want to apply it and apply this way. So press Alt click so we can preview where we remove it. So overall look OK. And I think that's look about right where I want to apply it. So you can see right here we have it slightly. Okay, we can also reduce one and just slightly reducing in some other areas and effect a little bit more in another. So overall, you can see we have our glow effect kind of matching inside. Of course, we did not touch some masking and maybe reduce some glow outside. This is just to show how we can create this light spill that creating on an edge when you're around or closer to other light sources.